How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary and in this video what we're talking about is how to improve Warzone Firefight. We recently had the beta, I had a lot of fun and a lot of experience with it and I thought I would share my uh, thoughts on what would make Warzone Firefight the best firefight or make firefight great again kind of thing so if you enjoy these speculative info slash whatever kind of videos you know please make sure to tap that like button if you like to, want to see more content like this uh, leave a comment down below your top five things you would do to improve warzone firefight and if you're new to the channel make sure to tap that subscribe button because i'm always uploading awesome halo content so anyways guys let's jump right into the video here so one thing I like to see in warzone firefight would be a revive system i think this would be a way more dynamic uh, way to have players respawn into a match essentially you know just borrow the same system that you had from campaign but just put it into warzone firefight i mean i know it might be some different kind of coding going involved there with single player to multiplayer but i think it'd just be a really great addition to the game and plus it would just be a lot more cooperative experience as well because you're helping up your friend to get back into the fight which is great because then you don't have to worry about the whole respawn screen thing but uh, so I think it would just really add a whole nother element of to the gameplay where it's rather than just slaying the entire time, you're doing some other things as well. And playing off of the revive system thing is saying if you don't get revived, you should be at, number two thing I would suggest is you should be able to choose your spawn point. Much like how you can with regular Warzone, you can just cycle through the bases or something like that to kind of choose where you want to spawn. Because sometimes, at least when we're playing on uh, Escape from ARC, you know, some guys would be up in the red tunnel and then had to spawn all the way back at, you know, the the garage where I'd rather spawn at red base or vice versa. They're in the blue tunnel and I end up spawning in the garage or something like that. Just like, keep me in the fight, keep me in the action a lot more. You just keep the gameplay just overall just more fun. Um, number three here, would, I would like to see are actually better weapon drops from AI characters. Uh, just from one thing, if one if I. AI character was using an awesome weapon, he'd be a much more interesting character to fight against, that's for sure. And two, it'd just be more fun if you kill them that you actually get to use these rare weapons that you don't usually get to use very often. Say like in Warzone, say like the Prophet's Bane, or like a Spanker, Rocket Launcher, Prime, or something like that. You know, something kind of crazy. Just add, you know, turn the game up to 11 kind of thing and just see what happens. Uh, just, just because... Like, like I mentioned, that if you had AI characters with much more difficult weapons to uh, pick up, or much more rare weapons, uh, that they'd be a much more difficult enemy to play against, and much more uh, interesting to play against as well. Uh, which also leads me into my th what fourth point here, is saying that uh, just Firefight in itself was just too easy. Uh, it was almost like you're guaranteed really to finish a match except for when you had that third round of defend the garage with the uh, with the Prometheans spawning in there yeah that was pretty difficult like the crazy amount of knights that were spawning inside the base uh, and you just get overwhelmed by just all the different guys which I feel like there if you use some solid teamwork you can defeat it I've done I did it before but uh, it is a really difficult one. Just because never really because like uh, your enemies you're fighting against are hard. It's just that they kind of just overwhelm you with the amount of enemies. So it's not really like actual difficulty. It's more kind of cheating the system to just kind of make it harder on you because you're just getting getting attacked from all angles rather than actually having a legitimate difficult enemy. Uh, but so I, but I, that's one thing I'm saying. Like if you get, had AI bosses with more uh, rare wreck weapons that were probably more lethal, then yeah, you'd probably have to use more strategy to take out guys. And um, it was just, it, it's, I don't know exactly how else to say it, but it's Firefight, man, it was just too easy. Like, it felt like if we lost, that we'd like really screwed up. And number five here, my last point for making Warzone Firefight a better experience would be having more variation in the objectives. Uh, I, there was a lot of times I was playing, I didn't even realize that we had objectives because they're all just slain enemies that's all it is really um even when you had to, to defend the garage you had to kill at least 100 prometheans and so it's not really a defending like the hill kind of thing it's more just killing all the many guys you can 
so I would like to see more variation in the objectives, have like a king of the hill kind of thing, or like protect the VIP kind of thing. Like what if like one of your players on your team became like the most valuable player, and if he dies, then say like your kill count gets reset or something like that. I know there might be some ways to kind of cheat the system, but you know what I'm kind of talking about here. Some different kind of objectives rather than just slaying the entire time. The Division has a really cool objective mode where you have to take briefcase, two different briefcases, place two lo different locations on the map and bring them back to a central location. That would be a pretty fun thing. Say like an assault bomb, you know, spawns in the map and you gotta take it over to, you know, location over here, but you have to fight through a ton of enemies to get there kind of thing. It just adds more variation to the gameplay and I think it'd be a lot more fun to play as well and it'd also add more difficulty adding objectives like that to the game. So anyways guys, those are my five points that I would like to see Warzone Firefight improve on. List in the comment section down below what your top five ways to improve Warzone Firefight. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps out the channel. And if you're new to the channel, you know, can always just subscribe because I'm always uploading awesome Halo content. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.